Will, managing a uh, bullpen game behind the plate tonight, the relieving core doing a, a really good job as they've done all year. What were you noticing from them tonight? Um, you know, they're really attacking the zone. Um, they're getting ahead of guys, um, getting a lot of ground balls tonight, um, and then executing some two-strike pitches for some punchies. And, uh, you know, they're just on the attack the whole day. It seemed like runs were coming at a premium today on both sides, which was very unlike the first game of this doubleheader. Jock Peterson with the solo shot, and then you drive another run in. How were you able to uh, get to Gossman today? Uh, yeah, we hit, a, we hit a whole lot of balls hard today. I mean, I kept looking up there, 105, 107 on our line drives everywhere. Um, they just got caught. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was good by Jock to Homer. And then, you know, the back-to-back -back doubles was, was nice to get another run. And, uh, and yeah, just the bullpen shutting it down. It was a good game. I understand that uh, there's a lot of things going on right now that are bigger than baseball. But from a baseball perspective, being able to get the you know two games of the doubleheader before you head to Texas, uh, how gratifying is that to be able to come back today and do what you guys needed to do on the field? Yeah, from a baseball sense, you know it was good to get two wins today. But you know last night was was a huge moment for us as a uh, you know team and organization, um, and you know it felt good to be a part of it. Thanks, Will. Next question. Hey, Will, how do you feel about the seven inning uh, games? I liked it. I mean, for a double header, it's nice. Better than two nines for sure. Um, and when it, when it comes to, you know, the seven inning games and, and going with a bullpen game, um, you know, as a catcher, how, how, how difficult is it to have a different pitcher pretty much every inning? Are you, is, is that a challenge or is that just because you know the guy so well, it doesn't really matter? Uh, no, it's not really that much of a challenge that has, you know, seven innings has no effect on that. We kind of do that a lot during you know, a normal game once we get into the pen. Um, so, I mean, it was just kind of a normal, normal day today where we shouldn't have started. It was just a bullpen day and, uh, and they did really well. And when did you guys find out that the game was getting delayed, you know, another, I think it's 35 minutes? Uh, probably about 4.02 or a 4.05 start. They pushed it back. So you, so you were ready to, you guys were ready to go? Oh, yeah, we were ready to go. Guys were all, you know, stretching, getting done stretching. Uh, luckily, you know, Ferg was opening, and he hadn't thrown yet because um, he was just going to throw in the top half of the first. But, uh, so, yeah, he didn't have to get hot and cool down and get back up. Thank you. Hey, well, how much more comfortable do you think Kenley feels and looks with the secondary stuff compared to, you know, the guy you caught last year? Um, I think I think he feels real good this year. Uh, Cutter's playing really well. Uh, the forcing is doing really well as well. Uh, you know, he's dominating. He's attacking the zone. He's getting ahead of guys. Um, the velo's back up a little bit. And, uh, and yeah, the slider is a good put-away pitch, good OO pitch. Um, he's, he's mixing, using, using everything, you know, everything well. Dave, the opportunity that you guys had, um, to obviously make a statement yesterday, but also to come back and play today, regroup as a, as a team, as a group, um, and, and get both games of the doubleheader. What does that mean to you? Um, it, it means a lot. I, I think that number one, um, yesterday was, was a, was a was an emotional day for all of us, and so for us to take sep take yesterday separately and address it collectively, I thought was was very positive. Um, and then to to like you said to regroup today, focus on baseball, um, and and win two baseball games against a division rival was was good. The last time the Dodgers had two shutouts in one day was back in 1971 in September against Atlanta, 12-0 and 4-0. and So how nice was it to get the pitching performance that you got in both of these games, obviously with Clayton and with Josh in game one and then a bullpen game in game two? Yeah, I mean, it was two separate type of pitching performances. And, and I think that uh, for Clayton to set the tone in game one obviously gave us a lot of flexibility in game two. So, um, you know... Clayton didn't think he was sharp. I thought he was getting better, excuse me, through the game. But for him to go out there and still compete and throw up, throw up zeros uh, through six, I, I thought was big. And to see Josh get in the game, I thought was good for him. And then uh, you look at the next game, uh, the way we ran relievers out there matched up, 
uh, coming off an off day. I thought it was a great opportunity to get these guys some some innings, and uh, they they pitched really well, and it was uh, good to see. Sometimes when closers, Dave, don't necessarily pitch in a safe situation in the ninth inning, their stuff may be a little bit different. Kenley, in the seventh inning, safe situation comes out. What did you see for him overall, obviously bearing down and getting it done? Overall, I thought it was good. Um, obviously, we'd like him to be a little bit more efficient. And um, so I think throughout his appearances this year, he has been pretty efficient. Um, but I think the ball's coming out really well. And Kenley did a good job of amending his routine to kind of accommodate that seventh inning. So it, it was good to get that save. Finally, do you know why the game was was delayed originally a 405 start and then ended up being pushed back to 440? Um, I think there was just some confusion as far as uh, lineups and, and um, making sure the uh, starting pitcher, their guy had ample time to ramp up. So it was just good that our guys uh, were flexible and, and adjusted. Okay, thank you. You got it. Next question from Mike Castillo. Dave, with uh, the taxi squad, now that you have two guys from there on the active, I, I mean, one guy now, Mitch White, I guess Gavin Lux won't be on the active roster, but can you add any players to the taxi squad when you go to Texas? Uh, I, I think you conceivably can, but if you're talking about the travel to get them there, it's just not, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, after today, uh, we're going to take Gavin and put him back on the, uh, on the taxi and expect him, uh, you know, we'll see what we're going to do with Gavin over the weekend. Uh, what did you think of uh, seven inning baseball? Um, I, I thought we got hits when we needed to. I, I thought uh, early in the first game, I thought, um, I think the key is in those games to get a lead, um, like in most games, but it, more in, in that seven inning game and, Corey got us off to a good start, swung the bat well. AJ tacked on late with a homer. Um, but today, Jock got us on, on the board, and that was really good to see. Um, and then, you know, after that, just the bullpen, the arm. So it was good. I, I like the two sevens over the two nines. Thank you. Yep. Dave, uh, is there an update on Edwin Rios? How has he been progressing? I know he got some bats the other day in that Dodger Stadium game. Yeah, he, he actually um, took some more bats today. And um, I think he's getting better every day. So I would expect, uh, you know, not be active when we're in Texas, but we have the off day on Monday and just uh, hoping things go well uh, uh, as planned to see him activated shortly thereafter that off day. And then uh, your, your game notes listed uh, Julio as the starter on Sunday. That would be four days rest for him. Is that true? Are you are you planning to do that, or are you going to switch something up? Yeah, we're we're going to push Julio back. Um, Julio's going to start on Tuesday, and um, we're going to start Tony Gonsolin on Sunday. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, guys.